Earth is teeming with life that is full of variety. Animals with crazy hair and animals with no hair. Plants that eat frogs and frogs that eat mice. But how does it all fit together? Let's find out together in this episode all about ecological organization. Life in an ecosystem is full of order. It's organized in layers. Each one is both complex and connected. We call those layers the levels of ecological organization. These layers include the individual living organism to the entirety of all living things on our planet. And understanding this organization is important to understanding how all living things are connected on Earth. Today, I'm out on a little nature hike and spotted these deer. This deer is an organism, an individual living thing. In our previous episode, we zoomed in and took a look at all of the layers that make this deer a deer. Like you and I, this deer is an organism, an individual living thing. This is our first level, the individual. If we zoom out, we'll find how this deer is connected to the layers of ecological organization. This deer is an individual, like we said earlier, but it's connected to all the other deer in this area, and together, they form the population. A population is a group of individuals of one species that occupies a particular geographic area. So all the deer here in this nature preserve is the population. The male deer, female deer, young and old deer, as long as it's this species of deer, it belongs to this population. These deer aren't the only living things here though. There are raccoons, foxes, different types of fish, turtles, dragonflies, birds, snakes, and earthworms. But those are just a few of the animals. Plants are also living, so these trees, flowers, grasses, and lichen are also on the list. And don't forget about all of the microbes. Each and every one of these organisms belong to a population of their own and are all living and interacting together here at this nature preserve to form a community. A community is a group of populations of two or more different species occupying the same geographical area at the same time. It's important to remember that a community only contains the biotic or living elements. If you're still here liking this video, let us know and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. The interactions between these communities and their physical landscape make up the ecosystems, our next layer. All these interactions in a population's environment regulates that population's numbers. Think about all of the abiotic or non-living elements, like the water clarity at the nearby pond, the topography, air and water temperature, and the precipitation level. The surrounding area, biotic, and the abiotic factors together form the deer's ecosystem. If we keep zooming out, we will find biomes, large regions of ecosystems sharing a similar climate. Earth contains a diverse variety of biomes, including aquatic biomes, grasslands, deserts, rainforests, the tundra, and temperate forests where our deer lives. Finally, we have arrived at the very top level, the overarching umbrella connecting every other ecological level, the biosphere, the collective sum of all living organisms on Earth. If it's living here on Earth, it belongs in the biosphere. Every individual living thing, from single-celled organisms to the giant redwoods, and even this guy. All living things are connected and interact, which is why they are all important. So when you can, promote biodiversity and protect all living things. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next.